Let me tell you some tips of thyroid FNA for beginners. To avoid too much anxiety, beginners should always place the lesion in the center of the monitor and the needle entry in the center of the ultrasound probe when doing FNA. The left hand should be fixed firmly in order to prevent the ultrasound probe from moving, as the ultrasound-guided FNA is a free-hand procedure. Additionally, the right hand needs to be fixed, in order to manage the needle's careful movement and penetration depth. Blood vessels and significant structures should be identified along the needle entrance path. You need to plan the entry site well in advance. You must practice sufficiently beforehand. As you can see, both wrists lean against the patient and fix it. It is also advised to secure both elbows to the patient's body. FNA demands sensitive movement, so fixing the ultrasonic probe line, which might be hefty, with the left arm minimizes its weight, making FNA easier. Let's see a video of FNA with both wrists and arms fixed. To fix the posture, the examiner must be in close contact with the patient's body. When a male doctor does FNA on a female patient, he always uses a breast protector in my hospital. Because of the patient's face and carotid artery pulsation, the examiner finds it more challenging to perform FNA on the neck in particular. Therefore, in the case of a non-parallel approach, if you choose to place the lesion in the middle of the monitor and the needle in the middle of the ultrasonic probe, you will be less concerned about where to approach from left and right. Now I'm going to show you the structures you need to be careful of when the needle goes in. There is a superior thyroid artery at the front of the thyroid gland. It is easy to see artery pulsation when you look at it on grayscale US. There is an inferior thyroid artery at the back, and when you do the to and pro motion, you need to handle it delicately so that the needle tip does not go too far back. There are middle cervical ganglions around the common carotid arteries on both sides. The esophagus is behind the thyroid gland, mainly on the left, but it can also be seen on the right. This patient has an 8 mm suspicious node on the right thyroid. The superior thyroidal artery is seen in the front of the thyroid gland. Vascularity in the superior of the nodule is prominent, so you should avoid poking it. Doppler is available for artery verification. There's an esophagus behind this nodule, so the examiner needs to be careful not to let the needle advance backward. In the case of this nodule, if the needle enters the probe non-parallel, there will be no big problem as long as you pay attention to the blood vessels. But if it enters at an angle, you should avoid hurting the middle cervical ganglion.